Today we're going to talk about diagnosing a Pentair pump, or any pool pump for that matter. Pool pumps can be expensive, and what we're really looking at is the electric motor. So the pump actually consists of this side, and then the far side is the motor. So now, just like any other motor, the motor consists of the motor, the capacitor, and the power supply. And anytime you work on these systems, you want to make sure that you have the breaker off. And you can see it's in the off position here. And I have my power supply pulled out. Yours is going to look different probably, but you have a master shut off or something. Make sure it's shut off. So everything's shut off. So one of the things you want to make sure that you do is you want to see if that pump will spin. And let me show you how to do that. All right. We want to make sure that the pump will spin by taking a look right in here. Take your skimmer basket off. Take it out. It's going to look different for different models, probably. And make sure the power's off. As I said, not just the breaker, but all the power's off. And you can reach your hand in here, and you can spin. Actually, there's a tube in there that you can spin, and that's indicating that your impeller is spinning and that your motor is not stuck. So that might get your motor going all together if it's the beginning of the season and you spin that and you can spin it Especially if it was a little bit tight and then it spins Then your motor might have been stuck and you just fixed it Okay, put it back together and turn the power on and give it a try if it's stuck and you can't spin anything what you might want to do is take this apart take the motor off all the power is off, remember, and turn the motor shaft itself or the impeller, either one that you can reach, depending on your model. All right. So check that. A lot of times that will fix your motor and you'll be back in business. What happens is sometimes either the motor reaches a flat spot or it binds up in the winter with a little bit of crud on your brushes in your motor and you just fixed it. Basically, there's nothing else to do. And if uh, at the beginning of the season you try it again, you can try it again. A way to avoid that is uh, every month during the winter, turn on the power to your pump for just a little bit and, and just get it going. And it will keep that free throughout the winter. All right, I'm going to show you the next thing to try because this is what happens happened to my pump today my motor the capacitor sometimes will go bad so it takes a lot of electricity to start these motors and just like your air conditioning motor on your house you see on top do you see that hump on top that's a capacitor and there are two screws one on each side of this Pentair pump maybe different for different models and what does a capacitor look like it looks like this right here Okay, the, the Gentech was what is in this pump here and motor, and I'll tell you how I know that. Here's what my symptoms were today. The motor was humming, but would not start. Hum, would not start. Okay, I checked the impeller, and the impeller was fine. It would spin, uh, and it was still, when I turned it on, it would hum and not start. So that was my next thing to check. So what happened is I actually am lucky, and I had a spare I actually have a spare uh, motor altogether and a capacitor. So I took the capacitor off that motor in the that I have in my storage, and I put it on there. So let me show you how to do that and how you can tell if your capacitor is spent. A lot of times what will happen when these capacitors blow, they'll bulge out here or on top. And if you look right here, and if I look very closely, you'll see that this is bowed. See these two contacts are bowed and not quite straight across? Sometimes they get worse than that. And if you look, you'll see a slight bow. And if you were to compare it to a new capacitor, it is flat in this area. So a lot of times this is the first to bow, and that's the indication that your capacitor was bad. To, to replace your capacitor, you want to match up all these stats that are on here, and you'll be good to go. On this motor, it's a two-speed motor. There are only two wires. All right, and I, the, the black wire was on the right side of the motor and the brown wire was on the left. Sometimes these are positive and negative and, and sometimes maybe it doesn't matter. So take these two screws out, one on each side. Take this cover off. I've already done that. And put your new capacitor on. And there's some clips back there for your wires. Simply slide those on. Put everything back together. You might want to wait on this just to check and give it a spin. If it works, then put this back on. So that's some easy ways that you can troubleshoot your pool motor and you can save yourself a lot of money. Please like, share, and make sure you subscribe because I don't even have enough subscribers right now to make money on YouTube. And every subscriber makes a difference. Thanks so much for watching.
Take care and be safe.